Hello students. Since my childhood, whenever I heard people planning about exploring places during the vacations, mostly they plan to wayfare in the foreign lands. Why? Why so? Do you know our country, India, is a land where we can satisfy our wanderlust to the most. It is a country full of flora and fauna, a country with a combination of different seasons, a country with different food, culture, language and a huge variety of everything everywhere. And above all, its history holds many stories of being the pioneer to great discoveries. Even foreigners hold a huge respect for our country and its people. So today, in this GK tutorial, we will know more about our country. And I hope by the end of the video, you will be more proud of being an Indian. So here we go. In this video, we will cover the chapters Indians at Two Shots, India's Disneyland, Pride of Kumayan, World Heritage Sites, and Unique India. Chapter 1 Indians at Tussauds The Madame Tussauds Wax Museum was founded by wax sculpture Mary Tussaud. It is a major tourist attraction in London displaying wax works of famous people. It has branches in a number of major cities across the world. The increasing popularity of India on the global stage is reflected with an increase in the wax works of Indians showcased at the museum over the last couple of years. So, here we are talking about the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, which was founded by Sculpture Mary Tussaud. Okay, it is a major tourist attraction in London displaying wax works of famous people. So, it is a museum which has wax models of famous people. It has branches all over the world. The increasing popularity of India is showcased here as well. How? With the increase in the number of wax models of Indians. Famous personalities from India featured here are Mahatma Gandhi, Indira Gandhi, Amitabh Bachchan, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan, Sachil Tendulkar, Rithik Roshan, Salman Khan, Karina Kapoor, and many others. Okay, so these are few examples of the famous Indians whose wax models are there in the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum of London. Now, from where did this idea come? Let us see that, how it began. The roots of the idea date back to Paris in the year 1770. Remember the year 1770. It was here that Madame Tuchard learned to model wax from her teacher and mentor Dr. Philip 
courteous. So, Madame Tussaud learned the art of model wax from whom? From her teacher, Dr. Philip Courtius. At the age of 17, she became an art tutor to King Louis XVI's sister at the Palace of Versailles and later went to Britain in the early 19th century. Okay, next. In 1835, Madame Tuchard's Wax Museum opened at Baker Street, London. So, the Wax Museum started at 1835, the Baker Street, London. The visitors had to pay six pence to see the wax models then. So, at that time, the visitors had to pay six pence. The museum was relocated to Marylebone Road in 1884 and remains there presently. So now, presently it is at Mary Labour Road in a of London. Now, here is a glance of page number 9 of the chapter. Okay, here you can see the pictures of the wax models of the famous Indians. And at the top it is of Madame Tushuts. Now it's time to answer some questions. You must be having your notebook with you. So please note down the questions there and quickly Type the answers in the comment box. This is also a kind of listening skill test. So do it first. Question number one. Who founded the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and when? Who founded the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and when? Number two, where was it located initially and where is it situated at present? Where was it located initially and where is it situated at present? Number three, from where did Madame Tussaud learn to model wax? From where did Madame Tussaud Learn to model wax. I hope you have noted down the questions in your notebook and you will also write the answers. Now, the next chapter India's Disneyland. Disneyland, the name attracts us so much, right? Disneyland, the biggest amusement park of the world. So, India also had a Disneyland here, which was named as Appukar. Appukar was India's first amusement park located in Delhi. It was inaugurated by the former Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi on 19 November 1984, the birthday of his mother Indira Gandhi. The idea of setting up a Pukhar was given by Indira Gandhi. So, a Pukhar was India's first amusement park and it was located in Delhi. And who inaugurated it? Our former Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. On 19 November 1984, which was the birthday of his mother Indira Gandhi, who has given him the idea 
of setting up a puhar. Okay, so this is the background. Apugar was closed down in 2008 and the area is now being used for a new section of the Supreme Court and Delhi Metro Station. Very sad, isn't it? I really feel very sad about it. However, let's focus on the points. It was closed till 2008. So, Apugar was existed from 1984 till 2008 and now that space has been used for a new section of the Supreme Court and Delhi Metro Station. Now, next part. The questions. Who inaugurated a Pughar and when? Who inaugurated a Pughar and when? Very easy answers. Write quickly. When did a Pughar close? When did a Pughar close? And the last one. What is being constructed in place of it? What is being constructed? in place of it. Done? Excellent! Now the next part of the page. Disneyland in India. Apughar was known as Billy Disneyland. This amusement park was spread over a very large area and had a number of joy rides, water slides, haunted houses, roller coasters, and food joints. So, Apugar was known as Mini Disneyland because it was not as big as Disneyland, but it was spread over a very large area. And what were the modes of joy there? The joy rides. The water slides, haunted houses where those ghosts scare you, roller coasters and food joys. Yum! It also housed a water park called Oysters. So there was a water park called the Oysters. During winters, Oysters used to be transformed into an ice park with the water being replaced with real ice. Just imagine how wonderful it was. Upper Columbus, Big Splash and Giant Wheel were some of the big attractions of this place. So, the famous or big attractions of this place was Upper Columbus, Big Splash and Giant Wheel. These are the names of the rides, the most interesting rides of Apugar. Now, again, some questions. What is oysters in regards to Apugar? What is oysters in regards to Apugar? Okay, write about both the seasons. Name some of the big attractions of Apukhar. Name some of the big attractions of Apukhar. Done. Very good. Now, next part. Apu, the elephant. Now we will get to know from where the slave Appu came into the mind. The place was named after Appu, the mascot of the 1982 Asian Games that took place in New Delhi. Okay, so in 1982 there was the Asian Games in New Delhi and the mascot was Appu. Appu, the elephant, was both the cartoon mascot, as you can see in the picture, 
and a live elephant mascot that became the beloved star of the 1982 Asian Games. So Apu was the name of a real elephant, of a live elephant who was a mascot and he was very much loved by everyone. Here is a cartoon and which was used as naming the park. Now, the question is, after whose name was Appu Ghar named? Very easy. After whose name was Appu Ghar named? Students, it's not necessary that you will get the exact questions in your exams. The, there must be twist. Okay, there can be some twist and turns. However, the contents will be the same. Okay, now moving on to the next chapter. Pride of Kumayan. Trust me, it's a beautiful place, Kumayan. Now let's see what it holds. Kumayan or Kumayan is one of the two regions and administrative divisions of the Indian state of Uttarakhand. The other being Garhwal. So, in Uttarakhand, there are two divisions. One part is Kumayan and the other is Garhwal. It includes the districts of Almora, Bageshwar, Champavat, Nainital, Pitoragar and Udham Singh Nagar. So, all these places are in Kumayan district. Almora, Bageshwar, Champawat, Nainital, Pitoragar, and Udham Singh Nagar. Here we will learn about Binsar in the chapter that is in your book. Pitched at the impressive altitude of 2420 meters, 95 km from Nainital, Binsar is one of the most scenic spots in the Kumayan Himalayas. It offers a majestic view of the snowy Himalayan peaks like the mesmerizing ranges Chaukhamba, Trishul, Nandadevi, Shivling and Palchuli, which is why you will keep discovering new walking trails up the mountains and down the valleys. New Looker Points for another spectacular sunset. Okay, so where is it located? The altitude is 2420 meters. It is 95 kilometers from Nainital. And it is one of the most scenic spots in the Kumayun Himalayas. And it gives you the views of the Chokhamba, Trishul, Naldadevi, Shivli and Palchuli ranges. So there you will really enjoy discovering the narrow routes within the mountains, going from ranges to range and looking out for the sunsets. Binsar is also a trekker's paradise. You know trekking? It's the art of climbing the mountains. One can go on long trek in the clean air amidst the misty mountain trails, towering oaks and rodent drones. Encircled by a vast wildlife sanctuary, a home to many rare animals, birds and wildflowers. The blanket of green hangs all around. It's completely green. Everywhere there is greenery. Rocks covered with usual moss and ferns, flowers and shrubs. Foliage sprouting out of every conceivable look and corner of the hillside. The entire area is now 
a sanctuary. Students, close your eyes and imagine the beauty of the place. Feel the beauty of the place. This beautiful place is now an area dedicated to a wildlife sanctuary. This is Binsar. Now let's read the text. Binsar Wildlife Sanctuary is located in Kumayan Hills in the Himalayas. The sanctuary is spread over a wide area and is situated at an average height of about 7,900 feet. So, as we have already discussed, Bilsar is located in the Kuban Hills of Himalayas. And the average height of the location is 7,900 feet. Binsar has a museum about the flora and fauna of the region. It is also home to many reptiles and a wide variety of butterflies. So it also has a museum where it has floras and faunas of the region and many different kinds of reptiles and a wide variety of butterflies. Other interesting places near the sanctuary. So, some other interesting places, if you ever plan to visit Binsar Wildlife Sanctuary, you must go to these places as well. It's Kali Estate, Mary Budel Estate, Binsar Mahadev, Kasar Devi Temple, Zero Point, Kat Godam. Okay, these places are interesting places near the sanctuary. About this place means about Bilsar, the history of Bilsar. Bilsar was the summer capital of the Chan kings when they ruled over Kumayun. Bilsar was established in 1988 for the conservation and protection of the shrinking broadleaf oak forest of the central Himalayan region and its more than 200 species of birds. So, it was the summer capital of the Chan kings who ruled over Kumayun and it was established in 1988 for the conservation of the broadleaf oak forest and its 200 species of birds. Now, a very interesting thing, zero point. From a place called zero point in Binsar, the Himalayan peaks like Kedarnath, Shivling, Trishul and Nandadevi can be seen. So, what is special about zero point? The Himalayan peaks like Kedarnath, Shivling, Trishul and Nandadevi can be seen. Now, answer these questions. First, write it down in your notebooks. Where is Binsar located? Where is Binsar located? Next, name four interesting places near the Binsar sanctuary. Name four interesting places near the Bilsar Sanctuary. Next, very easy, write two sentences about Bilsar. Write two sentences about Bilsar. Done. Next, what is zero point in regards to Bilsar? What is zero point in regards to Bilsar? I am pretty sure you must have written down the questions. 
and let me see how many answers I will be getting. So, it will be easier for me to discover who is listening very carefully. Now, next chapter, World Heritage Sites. In this chapter, you will learn about different monuments of India, which are world famous. It's page number 12. If you have the book, turn the page. If you don't have, follow me here. Here are eight world heritage sites from across India. Find out their names. So here we have to write down the names of the world heritage sites found in India. First one, along the river Yamuna is the stop of a Mughal emperor. Any guesses? Guess and write the answer. Quickly, this is a quiz type. Okay? See, first one. Along the river Yamuna is the storm of a Mughal emperor. First one. Okay, timer. Number two. See the picture carefully. It is the tallest minaret in India. It is the tallest minaret in India. Okay, time up. Next, this show temples built by the Pallavas have fascinating legends. The show temples built by the Pallavas have fascinating legends. Next one. The ruins of the former capital of the Vijayanagara Empire. They get their name from the river Pappa. The ruins of the former capital of the Vijayanagara Empire. They get their name from the river Pappa. Now a very easy one. This 17th century fort complex gets its name from the red sandstone usually used extensively to build it. It's very easy. I hope I will receive most of the answers within two minutes. Next, caves treasured by splendid islands on the Arabian Sea. Very easy answer. Caves treasured by splendid islands on the Arabian Sea. Next one. These are... 30 amazing rock cut cave monuments which date back to the 2nd century BC. Imagine 2nd century BC. These are 30 amazing rock cut cave monuments which date back to the 2nd century BC. Next, the black pagodas were built from oxidized sandstones. These black pagodas were built from oxidized sandstones. I hope you all have tried your best to answer this. Now, let's see the answers. 
फर्स्ट वन इज लॉर्ड ताज महल ऑफ कोर्स इट्स हुमायूं स्टॉप फर्स्ट आंसर इज हुमायूं स्टॉप सेकेंड कुतुब मीनार द टॉलेस्ट मिलर इट इज कुतुब मीनार नेक्स्ट महाबलीपुरम महाबलीपुरम नेक्स्ट वन द रूल्स ऑफ द फॉर्मर कैपिटल ऑफ विजयनगर एम्पायर they get the name from the river pappa the answer is happy the answer is happy next answer very easy it's red fort red fort next elephant caves yes these are the caves which are treasured and are located around the islands of the arabian sea it's elephant caves ajanta caves next answer is ajanta caves The last one is Kolar Sen Temple. It's located in Orissa. Kolar Sen Temple. Done. I hope you have read it in your book. If not, then in your notebooks. Okay. Please check the answers once again after the video. now we will talk about unique india unique means different as i told you india is a land of many first okay and in this chapter we will read about some of the unique achievements of our country first The world's highest cricket ground is in Chennai, Himachal Pradesh. It is around 8000 feet above sea level. The ground was built in 1893 after leveling a hill top. So, Chennai was the cricket ground situated at the highest point. It is around eight thousand feet above the sea level. The ground was built in eighteen ninety three after leveling hill top. Okay, so because the hill top was cut and made into the cricket ground, that's why it is called the highest cricket ground. Next, see this symbol, Bharatiya Dak. or india post there is a red flag and three stripes in a curved banner from it you might be asked to draw also so please make a note of this india has the most number of post offices in the world with over One lakh fifty-five thousand post offices. Can you imagine? Our country has more post offices than any other part of the world. And it has one lakh fifty-five thousand post offices. Next come. the longest railway station the name seems to be very big but you will have to divide them into fragments and pronounce it properly okay like i will also do vekata narsimha
Raju very better. So Venkata Narsima Raju Varya Peta located in South India. Next Varanasi. Varanasi also known as Banaras is the oldest continually inhabited city in the world today. Okay, so it is the oldest and continually inhabited city of the world. Next, India had the world's first university which was established in Takshila in 700 BC. More than 10,000 students from around the world studied more than 60 subjects here. Students, we go to different universities and different foreign universities Cambridge University, Oxford University, but see who pioneered the concept of university? It's India. And which university was it? It was Takshila in 700 BC. And more than 10,000 students from around the world studied more than 60 subjects here. Okay, find out more about it. It's very interesting. And now, the last fact, Indian scientist Jagadish Chandra Bose made the first public demonstration of radio waves. He designed and constructed an instrument called Coherer which helped in detecting the radio waves. So, who made the concept of radio waves? He was Indian scientist Acharya Jagdish Chandra Bose and he designed an instrument coherer in order to detect the radio waves. Now time for questions from this chapter. Where is the world's highest cricket ground located? And when was it built? Where is the world's highest cricket ground located? And when was it built? Students, I hope you know that whenever there are two parts of the question, they must be written in two different paragraphs. If it doesn't consist a paragraph, if it's only one line, then also for the next question, you must change the line. Never write any answers to two different parts of a question continually. Okay? So, first part is where is the world's highest cricket ground located and when was it built? Which is the continually inhabited city in the world? Which is the continually inhabited city in the world. Next, what is Coherer? What is Coherer and who designed it? Where is the world's first university located? Where is the world's first university located? And the last question, which is the longest railway station of India? Which is the longest railway station of India? Now, quickly write down the answers in the comments. Let me see who gives most number of correct answers after listening to the video. Okay? And also, don't forget... To write the questions along with the answers in your notebook. Alright, the pages of the book will be attached in the materials of the classroom app. I hope 
you are very happy and proud again to be an indian so here i am signing off with the hope that you will explore more about our country and come to me with more different and unique facts about india take care bye bye